All right, let's do it. This game is wonderful. It it's is. not like not like Zombie U. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. <laughs> exactly though. Bill Gas. Murphy's Dungeon. Murphy's Dungeon. I don't have any uh, tickets. All right. Cool. I'm familiar with Rayman, but I've never seen Rayman Legends. It looks nice. Wi Wi-Fi connection lost. I don't care. Renfield, I don't care. Am I allowed to add peoples to the calls? I uh, probably. You can try if you want. Uh. Oh, I gotta save the teensies. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Me two, one, go! <clears throat> ah, well, fuck. Oh, my healing box! God damn it. Come on, you piece of shit. Yeah, the pizza poop. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody, and dance with me. Hell, yeah, fuck. Hey, hold on a second. No, oh, God. All right. Um, All right, baby. Um, fuck. Oh, God. It's not like he's outside. He is outside. No, I'm, I'm in the car, man. I'm delivering pizza. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I'll uh, can I can I get a big sausage? <laughs> oh, you can have my big sausage, baby. I'm no. oh, oh, okay, okay, Wait, baby. Can we curse on this? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. I don't why give the a fuck. You can have my big sausage. Why the fuck do you think we wouldn't fucking curse you, fucking dildo? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know you, come guzzling whore. <laughs> hey, see, he fits right in. Like, never, uh, like, how you been, Angela? What, what does you in a while, what does man. he fit right in? Because that's my question. All right, who's all who's all in here? Introduce me. I haven't. It's Billy. Oh, fucking Bill, what's up? Hey. You, I mean, you've talked to everybody on this call. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. Well, no, I haven't, dude. I haven't been on goddamn Skype in so fucking long. Like, I don't know. Okay, well, Bill's here, and Mike's here. Ashley's okay, here. Cool. And, I just uh, answered my phone call. Mark's I don't here. know who's on. Oh, shit, okay. <sighs> and God damn it. Mark's, and Mark's here, and and we're playing Rayman Legends, so there you go. Yep. Oh, cool. This is live right now. Oh, okay, I don't care. Going out across the world. Tens of twenties. Tens of twenties. Oh wow, Winnipeg's up three one right now. Cool. So uh so we haven't spoken for a while uh, to Mr. Angela Voorhees. The... Right. So Angela, what kind of projects are you up to lately? I'm um, working on a new uh horror host T V show right now. I've been scouring the uh copyright licenses of the internet. Finding out what is copywritten and what isn't, finding the best shit, and just right now taking notes, shooting next week, hopefully. I don't know, I work 50 hours a week. Can you tell us a little bit about the project? Like, I mean, it's a horror host show. I mean, I'm going to be hosting like primarily slasher movies, a lot of nudity, a lot of gore, you know. So everything the Lord loves, okay. Oh yeah, I'm very much uh, part of the Lord. Um, I don't know. I can't even. I can't even say that. I got a fucking goat's head tattooed on me. I don't. I can't even say that. <laughs> what? I mean, is there is there an abundance of slasher movies that are in public domain? Oh, dude, you wouldn't believe. I got like at least. Um, hold on, let me look at my list on my phone. Okay. Um, I got. Um, 17. Ooh, 17. Hmm. And the first episode I'm starting, um, it's actually directed by uh, Don um, 
name escapes me right now. I'm kind of loaded. But um, the name escapes me right now. But it's the same dude who did Ilsa, She Wolf of the SS. Oh. Ah. And that's the first episode I'm kicking off with. Hmm. I just don't want to say any titles because I don't want anybody to steal my idea and take the movie. Good idea. Good idea. That is so, good I mean, idea. That, that's all I can say. The first episode is from the director of Ilsa. So, that's what I'm starting with. And lately, I've just been shooting, um, like, live footage from my friend's band. And that's really it. You yeah. Down by the river. Because you know we Memphis as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Patron Saint. Patron Saint's Jerry Waller. <laughs> oh yeah, I just went to his new bar a couple weeks ago on Beale. How is it? Uh, it was, it was okay. Apparently I brushed him off. I didn't know who he was. And he was asking how I was doing. I'm like, I'm drunk right now. Leave me alone. <laughs> I bet he. I bet he about had a heart attack. Oh. <laughs> Jerry Lawler's like, well, I was having a good time until that one guy brushed me off. Oh, my heart. <laughs> yeah, that one <clears throat> motherfucker in short shorts. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't know who he was, and my buddy looks at me because her dad actually built, helped build that bar on Bill. It's like. That was Jerry the and King she Lawler. looks at me and she's like, you know that was Jerry Lawler, right? And I'm like, who's that? Yeah, who? Yeah. <laughs> the King of Memphis. Hey, the now, King. Elvis, the King. I, I believe Elvis he was... Isaac Hayes. At, at one point, he was mayor of Memphis. That is true. I'm not going to lie about that. Jerry Lawler was mayor of Memphis at yeah. one point. I'm not going to lie, he was. I mean, <laughs> Angela's like, I'll take your word for it, Bob. And right now, Kane would probably be a mayor of a Knox town County. that he lives in. Knox County. Yep. Knox, Knox County. Is the, is the well, the vote still has for. to go uh, go ahead. I know, but he. <clears throat> I I hope he wins. He's won the primary. That's only half the battle, yep. though. Yep. <clears throat> So I'm looking me, at uh, burp on the phone. I'm looking at a list of the David F. Friedman's films. That was the guy's name. Wait, are you talking about the one I was talking about? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, you probably. It was from 1980. It looks like Kiss was in it. Oh. 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 Okay, I know what one you're talking about. We're not going to mention it. No. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a great one. I had I had the VHS just sitting around, and I was watching it one day with my ex, and um, uh, we were just watching it, and I was like, wait, is this in the public domain? So I looked it up, and I'm like, god damn, it is. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so, I mean, hopefully that show goes well. If the pilot doesn't get... Picked up by uh, again. I don't want to say his name either. Someone I've worked with in the past, but again, I would just rather not say anything. <coughs> but, I mean, if it gets picked up, it gets picked up. If not, I'm just gonna do online and see if it works out. It's Nelson Mandela. Yep. No, it's Gary Glitter. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Hey, oh. Thank you. Thank you for making me relevant again. I don't think. I, I was gonna say I don't think he'd work with you, Angela. He's in, he, you're a little too old for him. Yeah, I think so. Right. Twenty five years young. <laughs> oh, God, you, you're ancient. You're ancient in his eyes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh God! Like I got crusties all over my nose. I just got my nose pierced a couple days ago. Crusty. Yeah, like I got my septum pierced like an idiot. So. Oh, why'd you do that? Uh, I got drunk and I was like, I want a piercing, but I want to be able to push it up for work. I know, I'll get a Prince Albert. 
already got one. Ah, shit. Uh. <laughs> I got the reverse, actually. The reverse? Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be 850. No, it cost me like 150 bucks when I got a pierce because I didn't want to touch my dick. He uh, heard it, folks. Come to the. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm about to go deliver a pizza. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Okay. At least you know to use the vines. Fuck. First keep, thing I've heard out of I your keep, mouth, Ashley. I keep missing the fucking. No, I'd never been properly introduced to Angela, so oh, I didn't either. Wanna, I didn't want to, you know, interrupt his conversation. But hopefully he does well with his project. Oh yeah, that's right. Tomorrow we got a dartboard episode. Oh my yeah, mom. that's right. We're doing Full Metal Jacket tomorrow. I forgot about that. My mom might have hyperextended her meniscus. Oh no. Oh. I hope you guys have a fun record of the dartboard. Yeah, God, I hope so too <clears throat> because I don't know who else is coming. Ah, uh, I almost uh, made it. I might meet tonight. Oh. I almost, I almost made it to that, to have all three. Damn it. I uh, have not watched it. I'm afraid. Well, I've been so busy this week. I can't believe it's Thursday. I can't believe it's not butter. Ha cha cha cha. Ha cha 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 cha. What does that even mean? Ha cha cha. I don't know. Wait, who is this person you're playing as? That doesn't look like Rayman. No, it's not. It's um. It's Barbara, but in a different skin. I don't remember the character's name at the top of my head. I Her thought name. Rayman had like a weird, like, yes. corn nut face. Excuse Her name is Bobo Zebo. Excuse me? That is the only way that I could describe, like, if I was to describe Rayman to a co-worker, I'd say, well, he has a body, but no arms and legs, even though he's got, like, floating hands and feet. Um... And his face kind of looks like a corn nut. Okay. I don't mean a clitoris. I mean like the actual <laughs> corn nut snack. Well, we were thinking of a corn nut. I mean, we were, we were, think thinking, of we were thinking of a clitoris. No. A disease-looking clitoris. Ugh. I mean, if you actually looked at Rayman's mm -hmm. nose, it kind of looks like the smooth side of a corn nut. Sure. All right. Angela back. It's like, why does this clitoris taste salty? <laughs> she I ran a mile long marathon. There you go. Well, there, well, folks, there you have it. There you have it. I mean, that's about the only reason. Why she was running it naked, I have no idea. Oh, no, it's even saltier when she has her clothes on running it. Soaking in there. <laughs> oh. It's like the worst. It's like the worst bleach imaginable. <laughs> Why does this level remind me of Earthworm Jim? Like when he's a yeah, baby. Yeah, you're talking about Budville. Yeah. Yeah, Budville. Yeah, I know. I remember Budville. That level's fucking hard. San Francisco is also called Budville. Well, yeah, for different reasons. I'm sorry, guys. I cannot look at the stream right now just because I'm driving. And yeah, that's no problem. Oh, don't worry. Sometimes I'm on the stream and I can't look at it, and I'm behind the wheel. And that's these good. Okay, and these cool. uh, and these problem. guys. I'm gonna say, and these guys can see the stream on Skype, so they don't even need to be on sure Twitch. Sure can. Assuming. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, we got new things now that we do. Oh God. Flaming eyeballs. Yeah, that run, I had a guy complain about his fucking, uh, about the price on his pizza. But before the delivery fee and before the tax, he said that's what he owed and not the total order. 
Mm-hmm. And he, he he wanted to apparently show me that he had a gun in his crotch. Oof. But Welcome to what? Memphis, everybody. Welcome to Memphis, people. Yeah, I, I'm strapped and loaded. You have to be in Memphis. Strangely enough, Angela says that before sex, too. Hey, yo. Oh, yeah, I do. Because what's strapped is way more breasts than what I got. So, what kind do you got? It, it literally looks like a dirty hairy gun. Oh, I bought it from my friend. It looks like. I thought he was going to say, like, a dirty Sanchez gun. Like, hmm. <laughs> That's pretty shitty. Oh, no, no, no. It's like a dirty it's hairy. It's like a six, uh. It's a six shooter revolver. Dependable. Oh, well, yeah. Like, I mean, it's basically a shotgun blast out of a pistol. It's true. Oh, okay. Then you have a 44. Yeah, 44. That's it. Thank you. Sorry. Like what? I said beforehand, I'm kind of loaded. Listen, you're still, you're still a national treasure and you're a handsome man. I mean, I've gained a lot of weight since then, but that yeah, does, thank you. That doesn't that that doesn't change my love for you. Yeah, I know you love me, Dane. I know that. We still love you. It doesn't matter how fat you are. Listen, we all know Dane's the chubby chaser. That's why he likes me and Billy. It's true. Yeah. Well, wait, wait a minute. How do you explain Flossie then? Ah, uh, uh, you were drunk, and likely he was too. <laughs> Dane. Dane, do we have sex? <laughs> Dane, did I wake you with my penis? Yes, Adam, you did. God damn it. I miss his random drunken calls because we just talk about the <laughs> you, most weirdest shit. You missed it. on just the other day. You missed that? <laughs> well, you gotta understand. I don't... I don't Jeez, get fuck. calls from people that often on Skype. Like, I want to talk to friends and be like, hey, how you doing? How's your mama? But it's like, no. Or, I- I'm with the kids. Or, uh, no. Hey, who was that one guy that we had on, uh, on uh, You Can't Be Serious what's just that one grape? time? Yeah, how'd you know? Yeah. Remember that guy hey, that just Angel did... Be back. He's got to stop in the gas station. All right. Remember that guy that we had on the on uh, you can't be serious. He was just just god awful. Scott Sandler. There you go. That's yeah. What about him? What about him? Uh, nothing. Just, just we don't. I remember I finally saw a picture of him and he and he looked exactly how he sounded. Uh huh. He looked like Roddy Piper. <laughs> no, he looked like he looked like a fucking finger blast. He really. He looked like... During that dead, game yeah. where he was playing the hobo, he sounded a lot like Roddy Piper. Let me tell you something. Hey, that's an insult to Roddy Piper. <laughs> Roddy Piper don't look like a dead uh... No, he looks like a skeleton now, but... Oh, yeah. I think, I think he was, was there. I, I, I think, think he was, he was cremated. cremated. Yeah. Well, then he... Fine, he looks like a vase with ashen. And whatever. Ashen? Ashen? In wow. it's... Woo! Yay, hello, I you. won a creature. Yeah, I'm oh. you. Hello, you. Right. Alright, I am now Twyla. Let's go. Hello, you. Hello, I'm Guru Larry. I'm gonna set up an interview Whoops. with him. I did not mean to go in that level. I miss Roddy Piper. We all miss Roddy Piper. Thanks yeah. for bringing up old rules. Canada misses him. Well, he was only born in Canada. He technically didn't live in Canada. Oh, well, I know, but he... He was, uh, he was born in Saskatchewan. He really didn't he, have a He did spend place. some time up here, though. Was very little. He was actually filming a lot before his death. He was filming quite well, a lot of movies <laughs> up here. I just changed characters, but I guess I'll change characters again. He was born in Saskatchewan, then his family moved to... An Indian reservation here in the states. Yes, he was born to a poor base. black family. His dad was in the military. Mm. Oh shit! And yes. The Glasgow. And then... I didn't see the running flamey fuck yous until just now. 
They, I don't think they actually follow you. I think the it's like... Ah! I think it's just the a... running flamey fuck yous. Yeah, I think it's just a static image. I don't know. I think we should make a dictionary out of all of the slang that Ashley uses. We I think should. we'd make a bundle. We'd make a bundle. Call it Ashisms? Yes. Yeah, Ashisms, yeah. Let's exploit Ashley for money. Jizzy, jizzy, cum, cum. <laughs> well, she'd get, uh... She'd get 10% of the cut and we get all the rest. Yeah, she I, I have no room to talk. I have a Dane and Billy face as my emoji in, in Twitch. <laughs> Yeah. Mike, I expect 30% of zero. I'm sorry, that's not enough. I'll have to make it 60% of zero. What's my little emoji on Skype? I don't even know anymore. Oh, I'm talking about Twitch emotes. I've only got oh, the two at, I've only got the two at the moment. I got oh, Dane okay, gotcha. Dane and a Billy face. <clears throat> oh, you got a gold cup. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, you got a gold cup. Uh. I got a gold cup. <laughs> That's the best kind of cuck to have. Oh dear. It's gold dust watching. Uh, right now I should look at the camera and say, I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Just pop the PB. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's another orange in this level. Cool. Alright. Nice. I'm just character. glad it's one of the nights I'm not managing right now. They let you manage the store? Oh my god. Yeah, Are I you allowed to say, is it a... I'm, I'm not going to say where I work at, but... Um, is it a major chain or more of an independent place? Uh, it's one of the top three. Mm. There you go. That's all you need to know, everybody. Yep. That's all you're going to get. Which is fair. Yeah, two nights out of the week, out of the six I work, two nights I am a manager, the rest of the time I'm a delivery driver. You're a chicken, holy shit. Oh! That thing makes guacamole for you. That's Whoops. disgusting. <clears throat> oh, this is, just like, this is just like that Kirby game. Yeah, pretty much. In the uh, Wii U version, you actually have to uh, draw the guacamole yourself. Here, he does it automatically. <laughs> well, it's clever. It's clever. I'll say that. Gotta go down here. There's that thing. Gold cuck, an achievement unlocked in a video game, a Lamborghini weenie. Correct, mm -hmm. sir. Sure, why not? Emotional consideration paid for by the following. Thank you, Lord Alfred. You're welcome. I'm also dead. <laughs> oh, well, shit. If this really did almost take 35 hours, I don't know if you'd be able to watch TV. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, our, uh... uh our transfer speeds so that we could oh right so we could finish this uh, PS4 data transfer Shit. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, damn it hey angel what's up did you ever see the movie Eyes of Fire? Uh, actually, no, I have not. I would highly recommend it. It's a very, uh, very interesting horror movie with a western bent. Actually, the other, uh, like, maybe a month ago or so, me and my parents went to go, sorry, I'm, I got sinuses right now, I, my voice is cutting out, but, um, I saw The Quiet Place, or A Quiet Place, whatever that one was. It was great, wasn't it? That was actually really good. I was surprised. Especially that motherfucker from The Office. <laughs> oh, my word. But I saw a trailer for a movie that I think looks better, which is uh, Heredity. Has anyone seen the trailer for that? 
Yes. That looks fucking awesome. Did you hear what happened in Australia with that? Uh, oh, with the, really? uh, it plays in front of, like, some, like, kids movie or some shit. Peter Rabbit. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, leaked in with, um, uh, Bloody Disgusting, so I get all the news and shit. I read that a couple <coughs> of weeks ago. Mm hmm <laughs> and I thought that was hilarious because that trailer kind of fucked me up. But also, I came in shit based drunk. So, I mean, I don't. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> hmm. And people were like, is this modern day's exorcist? And I mean, I don't know. People said the same thing about The Conjuring. And I thought The Conjuring was a great movie. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think it was as terrifying. Like, I thought the Baba Duke later on was a lot better. Whenever somebody says, oh, this is going to be the next insert movie here, it, 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 it's never as good. Yeah, so I'm going in with high speculation. But, I mean, the trailers have gotten me. Like, I'm kind of hooked. Like, I want to see. It. Because you got that ugly fucking, like, uh, girl. I guess it's supposed to be a girl. Like, in the trade, like, doing a little, like, mouth clicks. Hmm. Like, I mean, I don't know. The the trailer sold me. Like, I want to go see it. But I'm such a jaded-ass motherfucker. I'm, I don't know. There's been a lot of... It seems like in the last few years, there's only been a handful of horror movies that have been legitly interesting. I think the last one that I thought was actually really good with the Babadook. The Babadook. The Babadook. Yeah, the Babadook, actually, I saw that in theaters. It came to Memphis for a little bit. And it was the same year I saw Kevin Smith's Tusk, which I'm a huge fan of. Fuck everybody. <laughs> Didn't he? Isn't he making a sequel to that? Uh, he made Yoga Hosers, which was a spinoff, which, that was terrible. That was the only Kevin Smith movie I didn't like. I think as part of the Canadian trilogy, he's finishing it up with uh, Moose Jaws. Moose Jaws, yeah, Moose Jaws. Interesting. Yeah, it's like a Canadian horror trilogy with like uh, Tusk, Yoga Hosers, and then Moose Jaws. But I don't know. I want to see Jaws, but with a moose. I I want to see that. <laughs> It's going to be very flat. Oh, I don't know, I just, I trust Kevin Smith, but after Yoga Hosers, I'm sort of, meh. Well, no, I made a joke about it being very flat since, uh, The Prairies is flat. Oh, okay, I got you. Uh, Sorry, I'm just... Yeah, Mar Mar Mark is the Canadian on the call. I'm the Canadian oh, okay. on the call, no yes. Okay, no problem, I got you, I got you. I just want to. I'm. I'm interested in Jordan Peele's in Jordan Peele's next movie because apparently it's supposed to be even more fucked up than Get Out. It's called White People Are Evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought okay. When I saw Get Out, I saw that in theaters. I thought it was really good, but my issue with it was once the climax started, it sort of lost me. Well, now he's a now he's an Oscar winner for best screenplay. So. Well, yeah, no offense, but it's because you know why only Oscars, blah blah blah, whatever. It, uh, it is. It, it's you got to remember this movie's written by the same guy that did that uh, went booch. <laughs> Wait, that did what? It was from Key and Peele. Oh no, I know Key and Peele. I watched that from the beginning till the end. I really do like Jordan Peele, honestly. Can I? Can I, I, I the show was so hilarious. I'll be completely honest. I thought that The Shape of Water should have won Best Screenplay, not Get Out. Shape of Water is far better movie than than Get Out. I mean, it's... I mean, Get Out was a great movie. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think it deserved the critical acclaim it got. No. It was sort of like Don't Breathe. I thought that was a great movie, but I don't think it deserved what it got. 
the the one horror movie that just came out that one uh don't say a word or oh quiet place quiet place yeah yeah i thought that i thought that was great but is it oscar worthy no well no but my god is it a good movie it no it's a fantastic movie the only thing i had a problem with when i was watching the theater it was just me my mom my cousin and my stepdad and next door you could hear the action movie that was going on oh yeah the movie is quite quiet it's interesting yeah like there's like no dialogue basically it's, it's, there's uh, like 20 lines yeah it's i think they said it's one of the first major movies to be primarily in sign language yeah which i thought was a brilliant like i mean it made sense to me like the whole the, plot i mean like the whole movie i thought was really good but the, the movie kind of legitly in certain parts scared the crap out of me i mean i mean i love the monster design though that was great god the thing was creepy Oh, yeah, it was. Especially because, like, the opening, I did not expect that little kid to get killed in a PG-13. Oh, yeah, he just, right right off the beginning, it's like, I... oh, dude, he got fucking raped in that, dude. Like, what the fuck? I didn't expect that. Well, not raped in the general sense, but, you well, know what I mean. Sh- well, he should have shut up. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. shouldn't have gotten that goddamn toy from that fucking sister. I think my favorite part, my favorite part of the movies, where they're trying to tell the old guy to be quiet, and the old guy's just like, Bleh. "Oh, that was terrifying!" I was in the theater like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" <laughs> Don't say a goddamn word, you asshole. Fucking, you know, in terms of in terms of straight up horror movies, you can't you can't be Guillermo del Toro's early work. No, you can't. I mean, between... No, you really, you really can't with that. But, I mean, also, I look at my West with, like, House of the Devil and Innkeepers. Listen, I, I don't care what anybody says. I, I thought the movie Mimic was great. Okay, Mimic. Um... Sorry, remind me a second. Um, oh. Fucking the 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 whacked out cockroaches and was that like early two thousands? That was ninety seven. That was ninety seven. I don't know if I ever saw that. Did you ever see Kronos? No. Um, oh, you're missing out, you. man. I mean, I'm more of, like, a slasher, gore, exploitation guy. Like, if you want to get to traditional horror, I can't really feed you anything. Like, I'm not going to lie. That just... I I used to be that way, too, admittedly. But I started watching things like The Changeling and Kronos. No, The Changeling's a fucking classic, man. I grew up on that's Irish lore right that. there, my man. Yeah, like, I mean, I grew up on that. Like, I mean, I grew up on the classics, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, at this point in my life, I've really gravitated more towards, like, what's the next slasher? Like, I mean, when I saw the second, uh, the second Strangers movie, I was fucking, that was great. I I kind of like the first one better, to be honest. No, the first one's better. Trust me, it is. But it's kind of like the difference between like the first Halloween and Halloween Two. Eh, yeah, yeah. I can see. I can see where you're going with that. Yeah, like if you look at it like that, I think it's a great movie. Like, and I never saw any trailers, so like one of the scenes that really got me, it was all up in the trailer. And my parent, my parents were like, "You didn't see that?" And I'm like, "I never saw a fucking trailer." What are you talking about? But I, I, I really, I appreciate more cerebral horror movies like Kronos and 
Did you guys ever see The Hunger? The Hunger. Oh, the David Bowie Hunger? Yes. Yeah. I believe I it was covered on Darkboard. I love The Hunger, man. I got a big box of The Hunger. But it's like, it's one of those, the type of movies where it's not necessarily bloody, but it's so, like, the atmosphere is so great that you just, you can't stop watching. Oh, no, there's a lot of movies with that that affect me to a degree with that. Like, um, shit. Hold on, I got, like, two minutes I gotta roll in. I'm trying to finish this thick wrap before I gotta go back in. Um... Like, I would say something like, uh, The Entity would be something like that. The what? The, the entity. entity. Oh, yeah. Like, where is that? Or, like, The Unseen? Yes, uh, Han, yeah, I'm talking about the Guillermo del Toro movie. But, I mean, like... I mean, honestly, my kind of horror is, like... Like, give me some gore and tits, like a slasher movie. Or, like, just show me gratuitous fucking gore. Well, see, that's that's kind of what I didn't like about the Evil Dead remake. Because, to me... I thought it... I, I think I know what you are going to say, but continue. Because it just seemed like it was just gross just to be gross. Like, there wasn't any, like... I don't know, there wasn't any substance to it. Like, all I thought about the Evil Dead remake, and I saw that opening night in theaters, like a pre-screener, and the only thing I thought about it was, it was a great gore film, not a good Evil Dead movie. Well, it's like, the scene where she, the, the girl friggin' vomits into the other girl's mouth, and it's just like, this is gross, like, this isn't scary. Well, I mean, it's gratuity of the sake of being gratuitous, there's no context. Yeah. We're like, I can watch a guinea pig movie from, like, the Japanese series and feel the same way, except I don't feel like it's gratuitous. It fits the situation. Yeah, yeah. That is, um... That's a fair... Or, point. like, a Diodato movie. Like, you know, the guy that did Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah. Like, something like that, where I felt like it felt the si like it fits in the situation rather than distracts. In other words, the gore goes with the movie. Exactly. I mean, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Thank you. Uh, the gore goes with the movie rather than, like, I mean, um, it's not forced. Which, like, Human Centipede 2 has the perfect example of this. At the very end, the one that escapes the centipede she goes into the car, gives birth to a child, and crushes its fucking skull on the brake pad. Or, on the brake pad. Sorry, my voice is kind of going out. But, um, like, I thought that was gratuitous for the sake of gratuity. And I didn't appreciate that. I, yeah, that was, I, I remember him about that. I was just like, uh, just no. Like, this makes no sense. It's not in context of the movie. It's just the thing that happened. We need to uh, have another gore section. Kill a baby. Exactly. Kill a fetal baby still attached to the mother's womb. I kind of feel. I kind of feel like that's what the whole thing with a Serbian film. It was just a ninety-minute video of, hey, let's see how many fucking times you can gross out the audience. Okay, the only scene of a Serbian film I had a problem with was the newborn porn, and that was it. <laughs> Everything else everybody, I thought was in context. Everybody had movie. a problem with that scene. <laughs> it's newborn. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I'm alone <laughs> on that. I'm just saying in general. Yeah. And I've seen, I own it uncut. Like, I bought, like, a region. You know, I don't know where it was from, but I got a DVD of a region where it was uncut. Yeesh. And every time I show one of them, somebody, I'm like, dude, you don't want to fucking watch this. And they're like, no, I can handle it. I'm like, no, all the shit I've shown you, you've never seen anything this bad. I really, I would be remiss if you 
And I remember we and Angela talked about this once. Where we were going to come up with like a jokey game show where we would show people the most grossest, whacked out movies and see how long they would survive watching it. I don't remember that at all, but continue. You know, like show somebody a Serbian film or one of the guinea pig films and see how long it takes for them to be like, nope, I'm done. That's it. Or violent shit. Violent shit. Any well, of those. I mean, violent shit is at least comical to my to my uh, viewing. It's at least more comical and over the top, sort of like an Evil Dead 2 kind of style. Yeah, that's true. Hey, hold on a second. I'm gonna go grab another pizza. I'll be right back. Boca. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> is that Give a, a kiss. He's got a luchador mask on. Look at him. I was him. gonna say, why is he dressed like a luchador? I don't know. Weird. Give me a kiss, asshole. <laughs> oh, they're all wrestlers. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that's the theme of the the world oh that's so unsettling <laughs> oh go 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 oh, don't stop thinking Keep... about tomorrow don't stop thinking about tomorrow don't, don't stop there's a luchador that's yeah. green running after you that doesn't fit the narrative. His name is El Pedo. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Why do they call him El Pedo, Billy? El Pedo. Oh. Bruh. So he's a pedophile? No, Pedo is like... Fart. Oh. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> oh, my... Yeah. He just what fucked you fuck? up! That was, he did he? Up. I wasn't even paying attention. Was he? Did he flip me off? That was a oh, thumbs yes. up. Oh. Oh, was that a thumbs up? Okay, so it was Terminator, in other words. Oh, uh, I thought he flipped you off. Terminator Two. It looked like he flipped you the bird, and I'm thinking, isn't this like a T-rated game? What the shit? I don't think it's even a T-rated game. I think it's an uh, an E-rated game. Well. <sighs> It's almost close. It's almost close. Samoa Joe. He's fast. Samoa Samo Joe, no simpy. Sam See, I thought that two third and fifth chance that uh, Scott Steiner was talking about, I thought he was calling Samoa Joe two ton tits. He would say something like that. Yeah. Two ton tits. Two ton tits. Joe. Yeah. He's that, fat. That is very. It is a very Scott Steiner thing to do. It's a very astute observation, though. Oh, so I gotta actually. I'm gonna have to actually fight this guy now. Oh my God. Oh that's, wow. That's El big, Camino. That's a big bitch. Don't talk about John's ex-wife like that. Only I can do that. <laughs> I don't give a fucky fuck about his ex wife. John was married Neither to a giant he. luchador. <laughs> Let's just say he and his ex wife are not good. Well, they they had a bad divorce, but it was more her fault than his because uh, she was a bitch. And any chance I get to try to appease him. If there is a monstrous looking creature in a game, I'm just like, damn, John, I didn't know you had to fight your ex wife again. She was, she was a oh, Mexican fuck. wrestler. She was a Mexican wrestler called El Gran Condola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember the legends of El Gran Condola. With the giant wizard sleeve. Yeah, the giant wizard sleeve. El Grand Contola. Why are your yes. pussy lips so big? They always say. 
Her pussy lips were like a fucking windsock. Jesus. El, El Cantina. Alright, Angel back. Oh. Hi. Get dog here. That is a big fucking thing of uh. a thing. That is a big fucking thing. That is what she said. Well. Damn, it keeps killing you. What the shit? Man, I got a two pie that just. Both of these motherfuckers never tip. Spin it. <laughs> don't encourage him, Dane. <laughs> no, I don't spit on there. I always. Give him your all sausage. I do is open my bag. It's a. <laughs> the AC is blowing right on your fucking food. I hope. <laughs> so they get cold fucking pizza. There you go. That's all what I do, and I may take my time. Why did um did they did they order something close to closing? Uh no, we don't close till uh what's night? Um, is today is Thursday? Yes, yeah. today is Thursday. Okay, thank you. Um, no, I mean, we're like an hour to close, but, I mean, they're generally just not tippers. Like, they order at least three days a week and they don't tip. Oh, that fucking sucks. Especially when I make up uh, 15 an hour and I'm supposed to make up minimum wage by tips. Oh, I, I feel you, Angela. I, I... I'm in a relationship with someone who used to be in the food industry. He could probably like it, share it more stories. Like, it legitimately sucks. So, you don't do anything. You know, maybe they ordered a soda like they did. I may have shaken it up. I don't know. He cannot confirm or deny. No, but, you know, it may be shaken up and explode on contact. I guess we'll find out. Well, yeah, I mean, I've done some shit before, like... I mean, I used to hold farts up until, um... I would go to a non-tipper and fart, like, rip a huge nasty fart. Right before I knocked their door. Hey, Bill, he's a man. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, that sounds like something Billy would do. <laughs> oh, I've, I've done that. I used to be a pizza delivery guy. I've done that. <laughs> oh yeah, isn't that the greatest thing when they smell it and you can tell? Oh yeah, no, this, that's your pizza. <laughs> this, is, this is why you always tip, folks. Always tip, and tip them good. Their lives are shit enough. Even if you give them like three dollars, it's still... It's true. I mean, dude, I, I closed last night. I took 21 deliveries. Um, 14 of them didn't tip. Oh, I know that feeling. I mean, it it just sucks. Like, you sit there, and you're like, what the fuck am I doing? I worked an well, eight-hour shift and walked out with $30. I mean, I mean if, granted, if I worked too... in a bad part of Memphis, but... Shit. Me, when I was a pizza delivery guy, I knew certain areas of town. I was like, yeah, I'm not getting a tip. Oh, yeah. We look at that, too. When we look at the, uh, when we look at the board before we sign it out or whatever, it's like, we're not getting a tip. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck that shit. That's why if I don't have enough money to tip, I don't fucking order that night. I'll cook. Fuck that shit. That's what my parents always taught me. They said, if you cannot tip more than five, don't go out. Because when you tip, you're supposed to tip for other people that don't. But hold on a second. Let me go to this house. It's not going to tip me. I, uh... Whenever, whenever I, I, I... If I get a pizza, sometimes it's $15. I just get him a 20 and let him keep the change. Yep. You are a scholar and a gentleman. I, I think $5 tip is a pretty good tip. On a 15 on a fi on a $15 order, that's a great tip. Yeah. That's 33%. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah. Not only should you tip, you should always over tip. Because like I said, those those people have a hard enough time without hey, you shitting I was all a over pizza their fucking... I, I was a pizza delivery guy. Yeah. There'd be some weeks... There'd be some weeks where I was like raking in the money. I'd make five hundred dollars in two days. I did that. Also depends on what company you work for. Uh, fucking Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut's actually good for it because they don't take any tips. Fucking diarrhea. Um, but uh, Papa John's is probably the worst. They take part of your tips. Well. Which is stupid. I never, I never really cared for Papa John's in the begin with. Yeah, they, you know, if you're a delivery guy, they take part of you. They take like twenty to thirty percent of your tip. It's irrelevant for me anyway. I don't get delivery out here anymore. We used to have a Pizza Hut that delivered here, uh, and then they moved a block down the street. And now they don't. Suddenly, they don't deliver here anymore. I don't get that. It's only a block. I don't know. Stupidity. Did you fart, Billy? Yeah, I did. Somebody clicked that button. Yeah, let me get the emote here. That's like tight six of them. There we go. <laughs> I almost died. I forgot where I was in this maze. No! Oh, God. Winnipeg won uh, their their game five one. I saw. God, that's like absurd for a hockey score, isn't it? Well, not. It's not out of the realm of possibility. When it gets into double digits, that's when it gets absurd. But it for a playoff game, it's pretty. It is pretty uh, <laughs> high. You did. I did it. Oh, God. His eyeballs popped out of his head. <laughs> yes. Very much so. Good, sir. You're Mexican. Yes. That is the that is the idea. I should, I should go forward. <clears throat> oh, there's this guy again. Oh, no, not this guy again. Oh, it's gonna be fun, boy. I should have turned back. Here, if I could turn back. <laughs> Angela's oh. back, and that could have turned fucking terrible. You're going to fire the rear. I'll just say if I didn't show my pistol, he would have drawn his. People say Detroit's bad. <laughs> oh, Memphis sucks. Like, fuck Detroit. Memphis is filled with... Well, that's what we always people. say, too. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck Detroit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I think the American Detroit. government did that already. Well, that was Flint. Like, here's my thing. When I used to work at American Horrors with uh, Hart Fisher or whatever... God rest his uh, wife's soul. Right. Rest in peace, walk up, yeah. Fisher, you know, dear to my heart, I hated that. But uh, beyond that, Hart would say, I, I live, you know, I know Detroit, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you don't know Memphis. Because Memphis doesn't have smart criminals. We have goddamn fucking idiots. I, uh, I know a few guys, uh, the, the, uh, the game chasers. Oh, yeah, I... Um, Actually, I saw them once when I was cleaning out my, because uh, they live in Fort Worth. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, they, my grandpa did, and I saw them once. They uh, they stopped in Memphis. They went to go see the recording studio. Oh, Sunset Records. Yes, and their car got broken into. Oh, yeah. I and remember I Bill told me that before the uh, episode aired, and... He even warned him from a motherfucker like me that's lived in Memphis all his life. Don't go there. I, I, tag that ain't from Tennessee. I told him this. I said, 
you drive through Memphis. You don't stop there. You drive no, through. No, you don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just want to let everybody know I'm going silent for a minute because this is a musical level and I need to be able to hear the TV. So I'm going to mute the mic so that there's no feedback. But just be just be aware this is going to be Eye of the Tiger. All right, buddy. Eye of the Tiger. Yeah, they do Eye of the Tiger in a mariachi style. But yeah, basically, if you're who's ever listening, if you come to Memphis, pass fucking through. Don't, don't do anything. Because if they see an out-of-state tag on you and you go and visit, you're fucked. That's what they target. So should you fly... So you shouldn't fly in to visit Memphis either? I mean, if you want to yeah. come in, like, Graceland's different. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Graceland's different. They have security. They have all this. It's in a better area. But if you come into Memphis, like, legit Memphis, like, downtown, there are motherfuckers that are out to get you if you have out-of-state tax. Because you know what? The Memphis cops do not look up after those uh, complaints, like if you call up to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I, my voice is getting lost, but if you call up to Memphis police and say like, hey, my shit's been broken into, blah, 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 I'm out of state, they're not going to investigate it, bottom line. Oh yeah, they won't. They didn't do it for Jay and and Billy either. No, they're not going to. I can tell you that bottom line, because I know Memphis cops. I know three of them. Two of them have left the uh, Memphis Force. police department. I, I mean, hell, I'm not using my real name. I don't care. Um, I know two of them that have left the Memphis police department because they're so corrupt. I mean, it's not a good city to visit, and I hate to say that because I love this city, but, you know, you gotta know how to hold yourself. It's like if you're stabbing in Memphis, go to Graceland and leave. <laughs> I mean, hell, I've been stabbed twice in my life. I've been shot at a couple times. I mean, you just, you deal with it. That's why I bought a fucking gun. Last time some motherfucker came up with, up to me with a gun, guess what? I pulled mine out, fully loaded, ready to fucking shoot to kill. You gotta do. Jesus. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. And, I mean, when I went to Canada to visit for a couple weeks with, um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember Dustin that was on Geek Juice at one yes. point. Yes. Yeah, when I was uh, hanging out with Dustin Kidd or whatever, the whole time I was there, I was so paranoid, and he told me to calm down every fucking time, because you're not in Memphis. No, he's in the Toronto area. Toronto is a very different city to Memphis. That's what I would tell you. Like, you're in Toledo, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Well, I mean, at the same time, when you grow up in a city where you can't trust nobody... Like, I mean, bottom line, I used to be a big, um, I don't care if I say this, I'm not using my real name, I used to be a big meth head, meth head. I used to be a huge choke head, like I used to take a lot of pills, when you meet up with people, you've got to know the situation, or you're going to get fucked, basically. Figuratively and literally. Especially yeah. with the fentanyl crisis going on. Oh yeah, that fentanyl has killed uh, four of my friends in the past two years. It, uh, it helped contribute to the death of my uncle. Okay. And it, it's terrible, I hate it. it. Up here in Canada, it's causing, uh, in my part of Canada... Oh, it's, it's, it's actually gone to Canada now? No, it's been in Canada for a while. It's, uh, it's, there, it killed something like a thousand people last year, something like that. 
I mean, in Memphis, I think our count was uh, 5,000. Because Memphis now is a big heroin state. Mm. Uh, so is Ohio. And I've never been into heroin. I've done it twice. I never liked it. I never did it. So, like, it's... I mean, it's terrible. Like, I mean, it's fucking awful. <coughs> if people don't realize the... Especially the fentanyl, no one realizes it. What makes the fentanyl so dangerous is that its potency is so strong that you only need a little bit for it to be able to cause an overdose and for you to die. You only need a tiny bit. It's so oh, strong. Yeah. When I went to rehab, they would give people, I think, a version of fentanyl to get off of heroin. Yes, it was a, they it do. Was a substitute, if I if I remember correctly. Yes, that is correct. They do do that. Yes. Um, yeah, I remember they were taking it and. I think you need to get a test. Like for all that, but um, hold on. I'll continue this when I get back. Hold on, I gotta deliver this. Yeah. Sucked it. Angela out for like three minutes. Sorry, all I all I heard was Ashley going, "I sucked it dry." Sorry. Um. And it felt really good. Okay. Well, (laughs) I mean, as long as it felt really good. No, I was using John's battery, and it's like okay. he only had one that what he left. Is that, Is that what he calls his vibrator? Oh, shit. <laughs> Who is the one that I have to wear big shorts for? <sighs> his phone battery, Mark. There's no sexual stuff to it. I was just doing a call back to earlier. No, I... <sighs> Sometimes he lets me use his Bye. really good phone battery. And I wanted to drain it just so I could recharge my phone at least until I, you know, get it to a real charger. <laughs> that one was also sexual. <laughs> there was nothing about that sentence I didn't like. Except, <laughs> except all of it. <clears throat> Why is my throat so scratchy? Because you were nearly choked to death because of a joke earlier. Yes, this is true. <sighs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. You're welcome. Why did you stank and welcome yourself? Uh, I mean, somebody's got to when Dane's letting the game slip. Holy shit! I just don't give enough of a shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you never do. I never, never do. Never, never, do. never, never, never. I just, I didn't want to interrupt Angela. It sounds like shit was getting real serial, so, you know. That's the name of the game. Whoops. Besides, I'm probably going to go to bed here shortly, so I'm going to get off the call here. But, uh, yeah, God maybe... God damn it. Maybe if I have a moment, I'll download this game since now I have a PlayStation Plus account. Okay, Angela, back. Mm-hmm. Actually, um... Hold on a second. You may want to mute me. I gotta do something real quick. Someone's coming up. Alright. Mute me for a second. Hey. How do we mute him? I don't know. I can't. I don't think I can. Oh, what, what's going on, man? Uh oh. Man, I I got no change. I got no money for you. Yeah, I may be a piece of guy, but at the end of the day, all that's my money. I mean, I apologize. I I really can't help you, man. I'm sorry. I mean, Welcome back. I mean, I'll go lie to you, dude. Say one more thing. You got a chance. Walk off or. Okay. Alright, no problem. Okay. Angela's back. 
Bobo. Were we almost were we almost witness to a murder? Yeah, we uh we couldn't uh we couldn't mute <laughs> you unfortunately. I don't have a way to mute I don't have a way to mute you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the other guy on the other No, room? I didn't hear him. No. We didn't hear him. No, we only All heard right. you. I don't care then. Okay. <laughs> You're like, dude, just walk away. I have a gun. That was his warning to say subtly, I have something that could put holes in you. You should walk away. I mean, that's what you gotta do around here. We make mm, holes in you. I didn't. stabbed twice by a homeless man. I mean... And one of them required stitches. So, I don't play anymore. I got a fucking gun like six months ago. Legally. Yeah. Because I went through all the steps. Just strictly for protection. It doesn't leave my car. Because my car is an extension of my property. You come up to my fucking car. And touch it. I can shoot you. Mm-hmm. He's not wrong. Bottom line, I mean, I've never shot it unless I was shooting with my friends. That is Tennessee law. Yep. There's no issue with it. Does Tennessee have a stand your ground law? Yes. Wait, say that one more again. I said, does Tennessee have a stand your ground law? Like round? No, round. Stand, stand your ground. Oh, yeah, they do. Bottom line, if it's your property and a motherfucker comes up and gets up in your property, shoot him dead, you're cleared. It's Bottom like line. that in Ohio, too. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like, we just don't play. No ramifications, either. You, you just yeah, you exactly. can shoot him dead. Because who the fuck are they going to believe? The guy that's coming up to your property and harassing you or the motherfucker that shot in protection? Yeah. Oh my goodness. And, and I have, I've only shot this gun once to scare somebody. I didn't, I didn't shoot to scare. Or I mean, I didn't shoot to kill. I shot to scare. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Because I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want that. But motherfucker coming up at me, slapping on my uh, windshield. You know, at my car, and hidden on my uh, driver's side window, I pulled the gun out and shot to scare him, and he ran away. Mm. I mean... Well, damn. And I've never been a gun person. Like, up until last year, I was never a gun owner. The thing about... The thing about, uh... The gun debate in the United States right now. It's not so much that people want to eradicate all guns, they just want common sense gun laws. Exactly, and I think I'm a common sense owner. I'm doing it literally for protection. Because well, I am it all a depends on what area you live in. of an unnamed, you know, pizza place. And if that unnamed pizza place found out I was carrying a gun on job, they would fire me. That's stupid. bullshit to begin with. Yeah, because we live in a dangerous area. Last year alone, uh, five delivery drivers got shot. Like, Shit. point blank in the head for deliveries. Jesus. And two of those are in my district. I don't care if I get fired. A motherfucker comes up on me, threatens me with a gun, I'm shooting him. I expect you I to. I mean, I don't give a fuck. Fire me, go ahead, do whatever you gotta do, but I protected myself. With the Constitution. Hey guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off here, so enjoy the rest of the evening. Angela, please stay safe. Oh, I, I always do. Like, trust me, I'm good. What's your name again? I'm sorry. My name's Ashley. We never properly been introduced. Your, your voice sounds so familiar. Do you work with Josh at all? No. Okay, you remind me of a uh, voice I heard on Radio Pro. 
Oh no, I've never appeared on Radio Drone. Okay, I'm sorry. I oh, you're all right. I was just, I was asking if it sounded familiar, but you know, it helps talk to you again. You sounded really sweet. So. Oh. Closest I got to being on an episode of Radio Drone was appearing on an episode of uh, Projection Booth. Yeah. Oh, well, you think you're better than me because you want Projection Booth? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was coming. I did. <laughs> Actually, where? No, Jane has been on a couple episodes. Of Radio Drum, yeah. Yeah. I, I was with him on a couple of those, too. This Back long in the deep motherfucker right here. Yeah. In the Brad era, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, now they're on to the uh, Peter Goshik and Cecil Trachtenberg era. Yeah. Which, honestly, I prefer. I like Cecil. Cecil's Cecil, good. Cecil, Cecil's yeah, awesome. Cecil's, Cecil's good people. I love Cecil and I love Peter. Like I generally, because at least like the conversations are more um, direct, and there's like some structure to them. Yes. And Good Bad and Flicks is a good what show. I prefer. And at least every uh, cast member has their own, um, like, you know, they have their own point of view. Yes. And they can Peter, take down Josh. Peter actually, I think, lives in the same province as I do. Yeah, I know he's Canadian. Yeah, he's Serbian Canadian. He lives in BC? Yeah, oh, he does. I didn't even know he was Serbian. I didn't know that. Yeah, they make jokes about it all the time. I mean, I may have heard it, but I just don't really... At least I think it was anything. Serbian. I know it's Eastern European that they always make jokes about with him. I just know they say, like, you know, Peter can't get the uh, Adam and Eve. No, it's because he lives in Canada, so he's not... They don't yeah. do the shipping for it. Hell, me and Dane had a podcast and we fucked up. I, didn't, I wouldn't say we fucked it up, it was just scheduling. Well, no, I'm talking about the one that, you know. Uh, that's yeah, under the, that's, that's did, water under the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, water under the bridge. I, I apologize, Mike, for that. I generally do. Don't worry about it. I mean, I have no ill will towards you or anything. Time like heals all wounds. If I, can, yeah. all right. if I can go back in time, I would not have done that. I regret that immensely. And I was just the jackass that Dane was talking to. That I'm like, yeah, I'll put you on my podcast. Talk. Me and uh, Angela did a Guar retrospective, and then the next week he dies. Dude, literally a week after, like less than a week before uh, Dave Brocky dies, he dies. Isn't that like what happens when people do retrospectives? The people like die. Like not long after the retrospectives being yeah, done, we, basically. yeah, we, we we did we did about a two-hour retrospective on every album. And then once I edited it together and put it all together, I heard Dave Brocky died, and I told Bill like it's gonna be in bad taste if I post it. We can't post this up. We we're like, oh Lord, it, it was it, and I was telling I don't the guys. Know about you, Bill, but I was I was crying at work. I couldn't. Oh, dude, I had a bad time. I knew the man. I mean, I couldn't. Uh... I met him. I met him once at a show in Memphis. He was just the sweetest goddamn person. Nobody knew he was addicted to heroin. No, that's that's his peep. That's the that's sometimes the signs of addicts. You uh, don't know that they. Don't he, act like they are. He, no, no, no. I mean, I'll thing admit is, to you guys, before I went to rehab, I was very open about my drug use. We, we didn't but, even know that he, we didn't even see track marks on him. That's the thing. Well, there is yeah, ways to get around. Uh, yeah. That. The only time I ever did heroin was snorted. I never injected it. That's why you hear about some people, Billy. That's why you hear about some people who shoot it right into their eyeballs or into their scrotum. That's how you hide the track marks, is by putting it somewhere else where people don't normally see. Well, if it was in a scrotum, we would have seen it. Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he showed a scrotum quite often. Possibly eyeballs, something like that. 
I don't know. Dave should have screwed him quite often. I mean, so. like, you could put in the webs of your feet. Yeah. I, mean, I knew a lot of heroin addicts. Yeah. So, they they mean, think like, you might have been I, doing that. I mean, I witnessed a lot of people doing different weird fucking things with heroin. Mm-hmm. And don't, yeah. don't, some people, uh, don't some people inject it in their buttock? Yeah, they can do that. There's many, but, many ways to skin a cat. I know too much Dave, about this heroin shit, man. But the, Dave, uh, if, if, if we would have seen the track marks on his butt... Because he showed his butt all Honestly, the time. Honestly, I think he was a, like, not a uh, heroin addict per se. I believe he was more of a recreational one. Mm. Yeah, and he, might he would have... do it from time to time. And he did it too, a little too much. Too much one night. And okay. Well, and if it was... If it was some of the stuff that was laced with uh, fentanyl, then uh, uh, fentanyl... The stuff laced with fentanyl for the people that are recreational users, it it their bodies can't take it because they're rec- they're they're only recreational, and it's killed a hell of a lot of people who are recreational users. Oh yeah, I I know like three or four off the top of my head. I wish I I, mm-hmm. I wish I didn't know as much about heroin as I do because I live near Dayton, which is another hotbed for it. Uh, I live near Dayton, Toledo, what? Dayton, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Ohio. Dayton, Ohio is so yeah, terrible. Map. Beautiful city, but... God. Yeah, the city's great. It's just the people are assholes. I mean, it's a it's a beautiful, I mean, beautiful city. Like, I, I may trash Memphis, but at the end of the day, if I go out with my friends and we hang out, everything's fine. Like, Memphis is a great fucking city, but you have to watch the fuck out. If you're a tourist, like a tourist, you gotta watch the fuck out. You can't just go in there willy nilly. Can't go in there willy nilly. Just because I've lived here all my life, I know where to stay away from. I know what generally you shouldn't do. Like, I mean, it's just, it's been raised in me. Well, I know the areas of Toledo you just don't go to. Oh, dude, I've, I've taken some people that are in Memphis, and they're like, what's that street? I'm like, you'll never fucking go there. You'll never come out alive. No, because unless you want drugs, they don't want anything to do with you. They see a passing car with some weird-ass looking white boys with makeup on, they'll fucking shoot you. They don't care. And that's other white people. <laughs> But hey, how long are you guys going to be on this uh, stream? Uh, looks like we got a little bit more than an hour. Alright, uh, let me call Dane back or message him. Um, it looks like we don't got anything in the store right now, but just in case, I'll, um, I'll call you guys back. I'll message Dane. Alrighty. Oh. Alright, see you in a little bit. See you in a little bit. Alright, it was nice talking to you, Mike. I generally miss you, bro. It's nice talking to you again too, Angela. I appreciate the apology, but you don't don't you don't oh, gotta no worry. But you don't gotta worry about shit, dude. Like that's all under all right, the bridge. I've, no, trust me, I've been regretting that after rehab. I just, you know, I feel bad about that. So I mean, you know, no hard feelings. Uh, yeah, no hard know. feelings at all, man. I'm glad you're back uh, doing better. I uh, appreciate it, man. And anytime you need someone on a stream, just hit me up, brother. Hell yeah. I'll add you to right, Skype. Man. I'll add you to Skype. I'll give you a friend, shoot your friend request. All right, man. No problem. All right. Bye. 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 Well, that was so an interesting I'm, evening. I'm so glad he's got his life back in order. Yeah, man. He sounds like he's doing real good now. You have no idea how horrifyingly bad I felt thinking about that that was a really bad time for me yeah for those you of you were, for those of you unaware me. i will i will explain real quickly what it was and then we'll we'll get off of it it was a dane and angela did a podcast back in the day where uh they basically trash talked me and a couple other people um but it's like and I wasn't I wasn't happy with it at the time, obviously, but I never said anything publicly about it, just because I wanted to focus on Geek Juice because that's what I was doing at the time. But yeah, mm-hmm. I wasn't I wasn't happy about it. I wasn't too thrilled about it. But 
Um, at the same time, you know, you gotta learn to let the shit go. So I let it go, and, um, I never fucking worried about it anymore after that. So, and Dane eventually apologized for it, and Angela just apologized for it. So, you know what, it's, it's water under the bridge. Um, everything's good. As far as I'm concerned, we're all good in the hood. There was, yeah, I'm sure everybody realizes that there was a point where me and Mike were not on speaking terms because yeah. of various reasons. I remember those days. And a lot of it a lot of it had to do with my mental state at the time. There was a lot going on. Mm. My relationship with Dana was falling apart. And there was I had a lot of family problems, personal issues. And See, I never even realized that you had broken up with Dana until you told me that one, just one day out of the blue that you that you mentioned you were single offhandedly. I was like, what? Yeah, it what was with Dana. Not that it, it's, it's none of my business, but. Well, I'll just say it was a extremely, it was an extremely bad terms breakup. Oof. Ooh. And she, she changed. Completely. Like, she was not the same person that she used to be. That is eerily similar to my last girlfriend, but it's neither here nor there. It is. It is the, the, simula the similarities are kind of strange there. Of course, with my ex, uh, her change, like, came after we broke up, but... Yeah, it was... I was very disappointed that she turned out that way. But, anyway... There was a... There was a point in time where... And I've never mentioned this on stream before, but... I feel like... I feel like I should probably mention it because it, I, it, there is a point to what I am about to say. Okay. There was a point in my a few years ago where I contemplated suicide. and I've been there, dude. It is... It is something that I never thought I would ever consider. But my life was just so so bad and I really just thought that nobody cared at all and it's just like well what what why the fuck even bother no one no one's gonna miss you no one's gonna give a shit and thankfully people intervened and kept me from making the ultimate bad mistake. Certainly one you can't come back from. Yeah, you that, can. Was around, that was around the time I put you on my show. Yeah, yeah, it was. I didn't want to... I didn't want to... I, I feel bad that I never said anything, Bill, but I just didn't want to worry you. Yeah, uh, you probably would have. And... It's it's one of those things where I I sort of became a mental health advocate and it's like if you ever feel like that get help. Well, I mean I I yeah, basically. Yeah. There There's are there are people, people that care and are doing fantastic work that will help you. No doubt about it. <sighs> All right. Well, uh, that was a, a very downer portion of our stream. So let's now uh, bring the... Yeah, um, the, Miz bring... Suck, the Miz sucks a lot of dicks. He's gay. Yeah, uh, uh, taking in the poop shoot, uh, vagina lips, uh, flapping in the breeze. He's gay for pay. 
Gay for pay. Uh, uh, Ashley names her dildos Adam Snyder. Um, N word, N word, N word. Uh, L word, P word, C word, D word, F word. Mike's a fucking tree. Chainy, chainy, chainy. Yeah, the cunty, 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 dick, 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 dick. Every match is a death match. Mike and corn nut clitoris. Yes. Have we have we sufficiently sillied ourselves up enough? And uh, Jews did nine eleven. No, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Oh, Key oh, meant... Rice. Did you we say did silly? not do I that. Said... Did you say stealing? I thought you said right wing conspiracy. I'm sorry. <laughs> not... We did not do that. No, no. We wouldn't I even see... fund it. We're too sure. cheap. Sure, sure. <laughs> I can say unequivocally. I can say unequivocally, sir. We did not do that. We're too cheap. <laughs> it's those fucking Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Did you? Was that like a? Was that like you were saying something else and then you were dubbed over? It was the it was fucking the, Saudi Arabians. It's those freaking canvas scalps. Well, I mean, not for nothing, but most of the funding came from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, but that's out of my business. Yeah, so let's go hold a Royal Rumble over there. <clears throat> well, I mean, never said that they Vince was smart. Let's give Saudi Arabia a fucking raw rumble. Well, you know... Dump truckfuls of money kind of, you know, force people's hands. It's true. Let's a, let us call a spade a spade. Um... Hey, David Spade. Hey. Hi, everybody. I haven't been relevant in years. Let's call a spade a spade. Tell us a new fell. Oh. Hi. Oh. oh. Let's... Did you just use the word spade about Titus O'Neil? No, I said he fell. But yeah, but it was in reference to Titus O'Neil. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a mama bitch. You son of a mama, mama bitch. Okay, I can go in the center now. You people need to realize if it wasn't for the fact that Saudi Arabia has oil and that they hate Iran as much as we do, we would probably be in war with them too. Yeah. It's not a Oh not, more than likely. Not I a mean, big fucking I mean I mean I mean they're douchebags, but Iran's even bigger. <laughs> I mean it's like Oh hey. You hate the people that we hate, too. Let's be friends. That's a fucking hilarious. Well, a she lot of that also... actually came out of the... Uh, a lot of a lot of the American Saudi Arabian uh, things came out of the end of the Second World War when the uh, Americans were looking to... You guys were looking to protect your oil assets as the British moved out of the Middle East and there was... And with the British moving out of the Middle East, the people who before protected the oil fields weren't there so strategic alliances needed to be created Saudi Arabia and US one was one of them sorry I wrote a paper on the uh, paper in university on yes like, we know you oil, have a degree oil oil uh, the uh, oil crisis Unless you and, like, flaunt your intelligence technology. in front of us at every waking opportunity but, but you know what you know where we get most of our oil from it's not from the middle east we get it from adam no. snyder's face we get it from canada well not as much as you think a lot of the canadian a lot of this does come from canada but a lot uh the shit the stuff from the oil sands in canada isn't is a bit of a different consistency than uh Oil that comes from the Middle East. A lot of your oil actually may come from Norway. That's what the whole thing with fracking. It's like, oh well, if we frack our own oil, we won't have to worry about. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's just the earthquakes that cause. That right there is why the gas prices come down. It's because people start fracking, and then the Ara Arabs decide, oh no, they're they're getting their own oil. We got to charge less. And then once they and once everybody's buying their oil again, and they jack the price back up, and then people and start then fracking, fracking again. again. Yeah, it's a vicious it's cycle. Bad, uh, it's too bad that we fuck up the environment when we frack. 
Well, you mean we frack up the environment? Well, I mean it's it does lead to increased earthquakes because you're putting crap into the thing that it actually does a lot of contamination of groundwater because they put a lot of they they uh, put down contaminated stuff and then that seeps into the uh, aquifers and the other things and it causes horrid environmental damage that you don't always see it right away and then it just pops up and then it's too late to fix it. Isn't that great, folks? No, it's not. No, it's not. (laughs) Oh, God, no. Not in the slightest. But hey, cheap gasoline. For a time. For a time, but there's only a finite resource of it. Is it really worth it if we just fuck if up I the... put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Which is why we have hybrids now. Because you put your thing down, flip it, and reverse well, it? Well, eventually, they'll perfect a way for uh, vehicles that that move beyond hybrids that don't even... Not electric, but ones that use a different fuel source that... Uh, a fucking... <laughs> stupid-ass... Who run on cow that... poop? They run on fucking corn farts. Well, I, I one of the funnier things I've son- seen for that is um, them using the oil from uh, from like fast food restaurants that they cook the fries in. So vegetable oil. And, well, canola, vegetable, a few other things. It's like, oh my god, my car smells like a McDonald's. This is great. <laughs> We'll have like McDonald's gas stations. We, already, we actually have those though. I there's a gas station in uh in Eaton or not in Eaton in Richmond that has a McDonald's in it. I know, but I mean a specific, like McDonald's has their own gas stations. Well, McDonald's would... McDonald's is a gas station. That's well, the thing. Up here in Gives Canada. Gas. Up here in Canada, a lot of the gas stations usually have uh, Tim Hortons attached to them. All right. When I was in Florida, they had one of uh, McDonald's you, experimental. You were in Florida? When he went to Disneyland, Jesus remember? Jesus God. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well. God damn it. Land on the fucking like, platform, you McDonald's, bitch. McDonald's has one of their experimental restaurants down there. They have a few of them out in so c- What's so experimental about it? Well, it's a bistro. (laughs) Oh, is that like those fucking places that sell like McDonald's spaghetti? Nah, no, I didn't sell spaghetti. There are there are such places. Yeah, I know. Like I want to go to Japan and try the uh, rice balls that McDonald's does. That actually might be quite good. I would try that. God damn it. It'd be hard to screw up a rice ball, but, you know, I'm they sure it's em. theoretically possible. They could, they could do it. It's McDonald's. I believe in them. Or rather, I don't believe in them. That's the problem. They fucked up pizza. Yeah, are you talking about the dessert pizzas they had in the 90s? The McPizza. Because I remember those dessert pizzas that they did. They had freaking full-fledged pizza. Oh, I remember that. But the dessert pizza always interests me because it was frozen. You could get, like, chocolate and a whole host of other things. It was weird. Who's Florida? The woman from, uh, what's happening? Good, good, good times. Or good times, sorry. My, My name, name is Florida. Is Florida. That's the name of a state. Damn, damn, damn. My, with my sister Georgia. In Alabama. And ironically, South Carolina. <coughs> what are they are they all the are all the sisters named after US battleships or something? the fuck do I get that one? That's weird. There's actually only two states that 
two states that weren't named, uh, that didn't have battleship names, you know? Really? Uh, conf yes. Confusion is one. No. <laughs> and Grace. And State of Grace. Yep. Well, they got cancelled uh, before they went into production, but uh, what there was... What's the State of Grace ones? With Captain Brett Butler. Ugh. I can't remember what it was, unfortunately, which two states it was. Alaska hey, and Hawaii? No, that's what, that's what he was uh, asking. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it. Yeah, Alaska it. was. We can Alaska is down, one down, of them. Down, dig it. We're gonna, we're gonna burn, burn down, down, dig it. If you got a big. <laughs> you would think that Alaska would have a, a boat named after them. It, no, no, no. I. It was a battle. It was a battle, battleship. It was a battle fucker. I mean, uh, they because. Do. Uh, because um, Alaska and Hi Hawaii joined later, so they only had cruisers named after them. Uh. Thank you for the follow, Bunny Honey. Oh, Bunny Honey. <laughs> you get hey. That means you get access to Dane's face. Oh, shit. You can spam that Italian everywhere. I hope you're ready for this, Bunny Honey. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, the the Alaska and the last uh, um, Alaska and uh, Hawaii were late late additions to the state. So the majority of the uh, U.S. battleship fleet was built in the twenties and the thirties, predating. So so there is a USS South Dakota. Y yes, yep. it's. Uh, it's a uh, South Dakota class because they started naming their. Uh, it's the lead ship of the South Dakota class. It was uh, built in 1942 and scrapped in 1962. So there's a USS Wyoming. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mark seems so incredulous, like, uh, yeah, hello. Did it's I not the, just say that? It's the USS Montana. It's it the, has one person on the boat. Yeah, and that's the only, the only uh, person the left. And, it means there's nobody left in Montana. It's the yeah. USS South Dakota. There's like five people in a tumbleweed. The USS Wyoming was a class built in uh, 1912 and decommissioned after the war. I mean, the only thing, the reason why people go to South Dakota is Mount Rushmore and Wall Drug. That's it. <laughs> Of course, wall, wall drug? I mean, the New York class had the USS New York and Texas. Wall, wall drug is a tourist trap. Look it up. It's walls full of drugs. Let's see, which class was the Ohio? Yes, we know, Hanya. The last two states were Alaska and Hawaii. You're not really telling us information that we don't know. It'll be Puerto Rico sooner or later. Welcome. And you guys will have to change your flags. Welcome to Puerto Rico, the 50th well, we'll, state. What we'll do is we'll have 49. Oh, that's circle. right. The the then. main class was what the U.S. Ohio USS Ohio was. See, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make a trade, and in exchange for Puerto Rico, we are going to give up Idaho. And... To who? God damn it! Uh, we're gonna give. We're gonna give up Idaho in a second round draft pick. <laughs> how about how about we lie to them about New Jersey? Wait, and in get what New Jersey? In what draft? In the draft of life. <laughs> I thought it felt a bit drafty. Ah, uh, so what we're what's gonna happen is they you guys are gonna send to Canada for Idaho in a second round pick, and you guys will pick up Newfoundland okay. for the oil. Listen, listen, Canada. Canada, hear us out on this one. We will give you Idaho, North Dakota. No, not the potatoes. Idaho, North Dakota, 
and half of Oregon for a second round draft pick, Quebec, and Prince Albert Island. We don't want Quebec. And Why a, would you and, want Quebec? And a Prince Albert. Just a Prince Just Albert. Just take Toronto. Just take Toronto. That's like the biggest city in the country. <clears throat> We just went to Prince Albert. All right, all right, we can all right, have right, the all school. right. All right, we'll okay, take okay, we'll okay. take we'll take Hamilton and uh, Windsor. Hmm, that's tempting. We will we would <laughs> love very much to take. Um, what, what is that fairly new territory? Oh, uh, none of it. Yeah, we will take none of it. All right, take cool. You heard him, Mark. He's not going to take any of it. <laughs> we will take. Oh. We will give you. We will give you Idaho, Washington State, and uh, Alaska. Give you Newark. We'll give you Newark and a first round draft pick for the Yukon Territory. Ooh, Shit, that's tempting. Wait, wait, since when is Mark like the broker of Canada? <laughs> can you just can you just like pretend like this bit is real life and just, uh, you know, just humor us? No. <laughs> yeah. Why on earth it's, would I do that? Well, think way to about break this, the Mike. Vibe. Mark is going along with the gag and you're not. Think you're about just, that. No, nah, no, I'm not. You're, you're just right. being a fucking English waffle. You're the one who's breaking the gag. That's usually what I do. I'm an English waffle. It just sounds like a bad insult, you English waffle. Okay, so <clears throat> it'd only be worse would... if it had the word twat in the middle of it. So okay, sitting down at the table here for negotiations, we will give you both Dakotas, Idaho, and a first round draft pick for Manitoba. And the Northwest Territory. <laughs> Hanya wanted to know what a Prince Albert was, and then later he, uh, a minute later, he said, "Never mind." <laughs> it, is, it is what they call a bolt through the cock. Bolt through the cock. Obviously, he looked it up. Yes, uh, he said that, and literally two minutes later, he said, "Never mind." I, I was waiting for him to have looked it up and go, "Oh, why did I choose to look that up?" Yeah, that's, that's something you look up with the safe search on. Yes. Yo, come on, Mark. Let's get, get let's get a counter off going, Mark. What do you say? <sighs> some, I don't listen, know. Listen, shouldn't somebody talk to just, Justin Trudeau about this at least? How about for Alaska, Washington, and Washington State, we give you Newfoundland and Prince Edward Island. Newfoundland's nice. Get those cool dogs at least. Newfoundland Labradors? Newfies? I mean, that's good. But, like... Can I, can I just we'll have the movie? We'll also throw in a newfies? lifetime supply of potatoes, of PEI potatoes, which okay. are some of the can, best can, in the can, world. Can we, can we have Calgary? Why would you want Calgary? The heart can house. I, can we have the exclusive rights Fuck. to Anne Murray? Ooh... Yes. And Rush. No. Yeah. Don't take Rush mm. from them. That's mean. How about Glass Tiger? I don't know what that is. Uh, you know... Hmm. I don't... Can we... Can we assassinate Nickelback? I mean, you can try, but they're all... They're all the T three thousand, so they're very hard to kill. Oh shit! Can we um, hang uh, 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 Bieber? He mostly lives in the states now, so he's already lot... hung. Oh! Apparently, he's become a born again Christian. There, Billy. No, oh, well, I thought you were no, gonna say apparently he's douche. an abortion. I'm like, what? Well, he's that too. He's a, uh, you know, as he's gotten older, he's a l he's a little less, a little less obnoxious now. True. Okay. He's still kind of obnoxious though. He's a, he's still a dick, but he's not like, not like he used to be. 
My only problem with people who become born-again Christians is they tend to become a little bit obnoxious sometimes. This is some personal experience. I'm not any. I'm not signaling out anyone. Fuck. Just people I know. Look at that line. No, I'm obnoxious, but I've always been obnoxious. I wasn't. I wasn't thinking of you. You're you're fine to deal with. You don't try and. You don't try and, you know, use it in a noxious ways to prove that you're better. Fuck. Oh, well, th- w- w- we have a word for that in the Christian community. Uh, it's uh, called J- Jerry but- Falwell. But- buttholes. It's called, <laughs> no, it's called Jerry Falwell. It's called, uh, they call them Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, they, d- they don't enjoy it on Halloween when you go and knock on their door. Oh, Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes. Oh, that's why I do it. Oh, you know what I did the other day? Okay. I have uh, pamphlets from my church. That I, I, I uh, just for this special occasion, why I do it. Have a good night, Hanya. Whenever I have a Jehovah's Witness come to my door, and they go to hand me my, you know, hand me some literature, I always go, just so they, I mess with them, I'm like, we would love to have you at our church on Sunday. Here's some information about our church. We would love to have you. <laughs> I have some Mormon friends who like to have fun doing that uh, to oh. Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh, it's what so What you fun. should do is uh, you answer the door naked. Oh, and then that. when they're like, uh, have you found Jesus? Uh, you you got to go, oh, no. I have. Can you want to help me come in and look for him? And, <laughs> he, might be under, he might be under the couch. I haven't checked I've under done, there in ages. Oh, Mike, I've done that already. <laughs> You will find quickly that they'll never want to come to your house again. Exactly. But they, I, I personally, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they can be nice, but they can be really obnoxious too at times. I, uh, there was some at my front door, and I was wearing a tank top, a white tank top, and I had some fake blood pellets oh. from how left over Halloween. Oh, I cracked shit. some on there, and I walked up. I go, I'm busy right now. What do you want? <laughs> And they just kind of like, never mind, and they walked away. We actually haven't had any knock on our house for a while. Oh. Well, I, this is a interesting, funny joke that I don't know how many people are here will find it funny, but I find it amusing. I have a Jehovah's Witness church literally just down the road from me. Ooh, there's a... They built the new hall not too far, uh, maybe 15 minutes from where I live. By car. Yeah, well, mine's like five. <laughs> and they, they tend to now, they, I kind of... Hey. They, they tend not to come to my house. Oh, oh hey, what's up? Hey, is the stream over? Nope, we're still going. Oh. Oh, okay, I just got a message from uh, somebody. I I don't know new Skype. I haven't even been on Skype in like two years, so I don't know. It's probably me putting something in the uh, chat window to it was, share. It was like a it was like a fucking uh, like a map. Yes, that was me. That was me putting a joke. Obviously, you didn't leave the. Uh, call properly because they changed how Skype works so you can turn oh, off I the if you ended it, you're just done. yeah no they changed it oh, okay. you have to log Bye. out yeah you have to oh. log out oh okay I apologize if you guys didn't want me to hop on or... no 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 it, it's fine it's just uh we forgot you hadn't used Skype in a while and they changed how they did things so I have to log out of Skype to well, a group well, I can complete. I can also if if you don't want to get messages I can re- remove you from the group too, but I don't I know mean, if, I, I didn't know if you wanted to come back later or not. I mean I was planning on it. Because okay, I mean, I'm gonna be don't worry about it then. Okay. Yeah, it's just no me problem. sharing a joke that I saw on Facebook that was amusing. Well, to me, anyways. It was like when um, one of our. One of the workers at my pizza shop, she was like, she was asking one of my friends, because he knows all the city capitals in the U.S. 
So she had a map out asking him, you know, he was killing it. And I said, did you know that Tennessee is the penis of the United States? And if you look where Tennessee is, uh, if you look vertically, right where Tennessee ends, it's the penis of, like, a figure, like a person. I thought Florida was the penis. Of yeah, the Florida penis. looks more like a pe uh, penis anyway. No, check it out, dude. <laughs> I swear, I swear to Christ. Like, I swear to someone's God, I don't know. I swear to, did you say I swear to someone's God? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking got one, I gotta swear to something. I know. <laughs> I gotta use that. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I actually got that from Futurama. Because Bender said it. Oh, that's right. He was like, oh, your god. Oh god. Yeah, and I stole it from him. <laughs> and I've been using it for years. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just realized, did we ever tell you that Mike's not on Geek Juice anymore? I mean, I, who else, who I really mean, is? I don't want to say anything inappropriate, but all I will say is I'm not surprised. Oh, dude, no, we've, we've already said crap. Uh, well, oh, we say crap about we, them every we couple of times. Yeah. I'm okay, not that right about it. I didn't want to say anything, because after Josh left, I left. Oh, yeah, well... It, Mr. X is apparently running the operation now. Yep, Alex stepped down after I stepped down. Pretty much, or yeah, shortly after I stepped down. I, I mean, I don't have any will, ill will towards the motherfucker. Like speaking of Jowski, I don't. Right. Neither do I. I don't take this the wrong way, but he was not a businessman. No. He was very bad at it, if anything, because when I would ask him questions, he would send me to other people. I don't know how to talk about you, too much. He's too busy sleeping with uh, homeless women. <laughs> or men. <laughs> or men, yeah. I was about to say, is it men? Ho homeless men, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, you don't know about that guy sometimes, it's just... I mean, I've... I didn't have anything but the utmost respect because, I mean, he's ballsy, that's all I said. He's a ballsy motherfucker to try what he did. I just don't think he could have, I don't think he handled it properly, is all I can say. Well, Mr. X, uh, all the stuff, the, most of the content on Geek Juice is pretty much just video games. It's just games, him now, uh, basically and just him. It's him and Jillian and that's pretty much it. Like he keeps talking uh, about, he keeps talking about bringing Jackula on and bringing Horror Guru on, but I haven't seen shit from either of them yet on Geek Juice. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna say some shit that's probably gonna get you guys in trouble. I'm not saying shit. Oh no, we ain't associated with them. I'm so not. A, yeah, I'm not associated with them anymore. So you know, I said my piece. Right, live. Hold on a second. Let me drop off this pizza and I'll say something. All right. <laughs> fuck yeah, I'm man. Gonna fuck that. I didn't either. Let me go. I don't care. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't give a fuck either. I, I talked my shit about them a long time ago. All right, give me two minutes. Cool. Personally, at this point, I'm interested to see who's gonna last longer, Geek Juice or uh, Channel Awesome. Channel Awesome. Channel yeah. Ah. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Sorry. What did I have my inside voice on again? It's, it's no. It's looking. It's looking like Geek Juice might last a little longer. It. Still looks like that, don't it? Although to be fair, I haven't heard anything about the the last thing I heard about all Channel Awesome was that uh, they're going to rebrand as Nostalgia Critic, and that's it. Really? I mean, they've only got they've only got Doug and Doug's Doug's Chicago crew, and then they've got uh, Brad and Larry, and that's it. Larry and Larry's just after. there. Larry's just there to watch the burn. Larry Apparently Larry's there not... for shiggles. Apparently it's not burning fast I like, enough. I, I'm I'm I love Larry. I can't I can't I can't hate on him for that. He's a he's a funny motherfucker. Yes, we love him. Yeah. We love Dude. Yeah. And Brad and Brad I have uh, Brad I'm still friends with, so. So, uh you want to say your shit about Geek Juice now? I will um I'll give you a little insight on Geek Juice Media. 
uh, All right. last time I worked for them was, oh my god, it was four years ago. Fuck, man. Yeah. I hate drugs. But, um, it was four years ago, and I had a show called Tyrants of Tape. Yep. I reviewed, um, like, basically, uh, slasher movies that were only on VHS. Right. Mm. And it's funny, because every episode I did for that channel, all of them end up getting Blu-ray released. So, whatever. <laughs> I was ahead of the game. Fuck everybody. But, um, the problem started when, um, I mean, I, I talked about this briefly before I came off, and I apologize to Mike. Like, me, like, I had a podcast that was separate from Geek Juice. And, you know, some shit was probably said that shouldn't have been said, and, you know... Like Dane said, and if I haven't said it, like, you know, regardless, we wouldn't have done it nowadays. Right. So, I mean, water under the bridge. I don't need to go into detail. But when I released that podcast, that was not associated with Geechus Media whatsoever, except for the fact that Angela Voorhees was doing it. Um... Jowski got mad at me. He really didn't want me on there anymore. And then when um, Josh left, I left. Because I'm like, okay, the one motherfucker that is just like me that will say whatever the fuck is on his mind and doesn't give a goddamn. Once that motherfucker's off, I'm not doing it. Bottom line, and I haven't caught up with Geek Juice then. Oh, they pretty much are just gaming streams and live riffing movies. It's, it's, yeah, it's it's Mike riffing movies and Jillian playing games, and that's really all it is anymore. I don't know if there's been a con uh, any con and contribution Jillian from anybody. Is the one that was married to Brad, right? Yes. Yes. I'm not gonna say shit, but let's just say it would be negative. I don't want to say anything. Yeah, Dane, Dane has hinted that she's not that great a person either, yeah. Brad's oh, married yeah. now, so... Yeah, Brad's married to somebody who's actually a nice woman. I mean, I still watch Brad's videos. Like, I've never... Oh, yeah. We still talk to Brad occasionally. Yeah. I mean, Brad's always seemed like just a cool, down-to-earth motherfucker. Like, I've yep. never... I've never really talked to him or anything. I'm not saying I know the motherfucker. I just... He's you know, one of three people left at uh, Channel Awesome now. Yeah, after all that. Compared to most of the people at Channel Awesome, the man's a saint. Most <laughs> of what people, Bill? There's... Well, I mean, when it was when it was Channel when Awesome. When it was, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I... Because I also followed... Uh, besides Brad, I also followed Allison and... Uh, and Phelan. Yep. Mm. And I heard uh, Allison's uh, video that she released maybe like a month or two ago. Yeah. About it, and she released a thread underneath it, and I read some of it, and I'm like, that was goddamn ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Well, that essentially started the firestorm where now where it went from a site full of people to where... They had... They had 42 contributors or something like that, and they dropped down to three. Oh, god damn. I didn't know it was that fucking bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's it's yeah. literally Doug's crew and Brad and Guru Larry, who nobody realized was on the site, apparently. And Guru Larry's only there for shit, shits and giggles. Yeah, he's there to watch the world that it burn from the inside Basically. while laughing hysterically and adding the accelerant to the flames. I mean, I remember before I hopped on Geek Juice with my show, um, uh, before it was Channel Awesome, it was, uh, That Guy With Glasses. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, That Guy With The Glasses offered to pick me up, but I chose Geek Juice. Because it seemed more down to earth, and it seemed, in my opinion, at the time, I wouldn't get overshadowed. It's probably the right choice, given the fact that they apparently 
never they did not pay any of their people that well your payment was well they paid a few people the payment was more let's be on let's be fair like geek juice never really paid anybody either so but we never we also never got to that level where we could afford yeah, to pay I mean, anybody. Yeah, I I never got paid for fucking shit. The only yeah. thing I got paid for was advertisement. Yeah. Well, that is fair. And trust me, I've been privy to the... Because I, I was lower management at Geek Juice. And I, I've seen the financial reports for Geek Juice. Yeah, we were nowhere near making bank at, at all. Enough to pay contributors. We would have had to been... Alex would have had to run that place for five or six more years before we ever got close. And I mean, I just honestly think with Geek Juice, he lost a lot of contributors that would have done well and brought traffic to the site, Mm -hmm. in my personal opinion. Yeah, I helped him with a lot of that stuff, yeah. He, he would constantly, he threw me a few messages telling me that, you know, whatever you're doing, it's bringing traffic to the site, keep doing it. And I'm like, okay, cool. Because I helped him out, I was like... I helped him out a lot behind the scenes before Mike Robinson showed up, and uh, that's Mr. X for anybody who's wondering. Um, yeah, I was helping him run the site and and get things together and post things. For anybody, uh, and I've said this before, but for anybody who was on the site during while I was on the site, if you saw anything posted by, like, Josh, it was actually me. I did all the posting of his shows because Josh didn't know anything about WordPress. So, I mean, that's understandable, though. Yeah. I don't, I don't blame him for that. But yeah, I, I, I post I mean, all his you stuff. You were working at the time I was working? Yep. Yep. You and I, I, were, you and I did, you and I weren't, yeah. Degree. Yeah, I remember it was around the 2013 redesign is when, when you came on and uh, did your show. Yeah, it was like 2013, 2014, something yep. like that. Yeah, you, yeah. You, and I, you and I were on Geek Juice at the same time. And you left before hello, I left. Hello, buddy. <laughs> I tried to get I tried to get on the site and they wouldn't give me the time of day. I got yeah I pulled the only people I ever was able to actually get on the site was Darkboard, and then uh, of course they left when I left. Oh my God. I mean I don't even know the site anymore. Like all I see on Facebook on occasion is like we're doing a live riff. Yeah, that's so all they do going, these days. So hopped on it. So. Yeah, that's all. That's all he does is riffing. Riffin movies and shit, and that, and then Jillian plays games, and that's pretty much it. There's no like actual other content. I mean, that's really sad. Uh, Jowski had something going. Yeah, Jowski was actually doing like In my fucking. Opinion, when I was on the site, he had fucking something going. Yeah, he was doing inst- not just live streams either. He was doing fucking producing actual video content. He was writing fucking articles. Which was something I never did, but I considered for a long time. I mean, and, I asked him every time I was on the site, if you want me on the trailer park. That's what it was called. Right? Yes, yeah, trailer park. I did a yeah, few of those, trailer too. trailer park or, like, live new geeks. Like, I'm totally, I'm totally free. And he wouldn't put me yep. on there, and it's like, well, if I just put my videos... I mean, I don't know how well I did, personally. I don't really give a fuck. But at the end of the day, it's like, well, at least it's some, some new guy coming in and give him a shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Or they had a freaking deal with Troma Pictures at one point. Yeah, we did. I know, because they did Sergeant Kabuki Man and... Yep. Um, and Star Wars, too. Yep, yep. The infamous oh, Star Wars Christ. stream. Lloyd I, basically I said... Remember right when I came in, they did um, Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD. L- Lloyd Kaufman said that they could riff any of his movies, except the, the Toxic Avenger movies. Right. Because he no longer owns the rights to that. Right. Yeah, and that's. I mean, he's getting the rights back. Apparently, I read an article the other day. That's cool. Well, that's good news. Well. Yeah, he's gonna do Toxic Five apparently. Wow. Toxie Which takes I mean, my hand. I have Toxie on my car. I'm getting a. Uh, I have like five Troma shirts. I mean, Toxic Avengers is my favorite movie of all time. Bottom line. And I'm gonna get Toxie on my elbow so when his. The working eye. He, you know, the working eye he has. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When I bend my elbow, it's gonna stick out. 
It's gonna hurt like a son of a bitch. <laughs> Be cool though. I hate to interrupt, but I, uh, I, I would be remiss if I didn't say this. I just, oh my god, I just had some ghost pepper potato chips. God, yeah. why would you do that to yourself? And I am, I am instantly regretting my decision. Why would you do that to yourself? Because I'm stupid. Why don't you just like? He said it, pepper. not us. <laughs> I've had a ghost pepper uh, buffalo wing, and that oh, was fuck. the worst thing I ever did. Dude, I you... choked like three beers in a row, and it didn't kill it. <laughs> you gotta. And that's just set. It'd be like to set your just set your pubic hair on fire. It'd probably be less painful. Just go get yourself a glass of milk, thing. Yeah, that's milk, what, milk or bread. Yeah, that's why I told him after three beers after I chugged it. I'm like, dude, just give me some milk. Fuck it. <clears throat> Make it alcoholic somehow. You would think beer would help, though. It's got yeast in it. Okay, it also, Okay. this is what you do. You drink milk, half and half, or straight up whiskey. I don't drink whiskey. No, I'm What's... a straight up whiskey guy, trust me. Or alcohol of any kind. Well, beer oh, is like alcohol. Of well, not great. I mean, not, right not bad. I'm talking like vodka. Oh, okay. You're talking like hard shit. Yes. Okay. Well, no, T-Dubs is fucking whiskey. It's cheap. Well, and it's hard stuff. Burnett's of whiskey. Burnett's of whiskey. Yeah, like, if you're broke, you get a fucking handle of a half gallon, and it's fucking $13. Flat. Damn. And I drink half of that a night right now. Lord. I... I... I, I had a couple of these chips, and I'm like, this isn't so bad. Oh, God, here it comes. Oh, it sneaks up on you, right? And that's not even the hottest pepper out there. Uh, you got those Carolina Reapers. Uh, I had some hot shit that was in Memphis at a wing place, and they made me sign a waiver. I don't know what it was. They made you sign a waiver. That's interesting. Yeah, and they told me if you eat it when you go to the bathroom, please wash your hands beforehand. Did you? Oh so... God, yeah, no, that'll that would hurt like a bitch. Speaking of the Carolina Reaper, Bill. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the one chip challenge? Oh yes, I've I was going to mention that. I've seen that. I was actually going to mention that. Do it, and I want to do it. The fucking pocky chips. Yeah, I watched that video too, and I'm like, Brad, why? A lot of videos, a lot of the Brad tries videos. I'm like Brad, why? It's called hits. It's called expired. Half the shit he tries is expired. I, it's a rare I, day when he tries something that's actually in its sell by date. One of my know, uh, one of my friends drank, tried the. Um, what was that beer by that press? Oh, you talking about the uh, Billy, Billy beer? beer? Yeah, Billy yeah. beer. Yeah, believe me, Bill, Billy has heard. Yeah, believe me, Billy's heard all the all the jokes about that one because his name is Billy Carter. I actually I have some Billy beer cans. They're sitting on my room right now. Yeah. It's terrible. I mean, they're empty. He did the mash beer too. I remember one of my friends tried the pocket chip, and he was he was sobbing, sobbing. He was just like, I I can't believe. Why is it so hot? Because Japanese like their food spicy. Oh no, this isn't Japanese. This is from Carolina. No, this South is Carolina. yeah. Oh, this, it's Carolina. But I thought yeah. it's, a, was it's American as fuck. Spelt spelt different. It's spelt oh, it's different. spelt different. Okay. Well, that's what you get for using a Oops. word that's used for in Japan too. One of my uh, one this of my P this is P O K Y. Yeah, it's different. Ah. <clears throat> One of my friends, who is a wrestler, he's a. Uh, they did the they did the pocky chip death match. Interesting. Where basically the the loser had to eat the pocky chip. Oh, and horrifying! If you want to hear how bad it is, a fucking audience member got a little bit of the pocky dust in his eye, and like the oh, guy shit. had to be taken to the hospital. Oh. Hey, hold on a second, guys. All right. 
Yeah, sorry. I tried to pull it out and be slick, grab the goddamn handhold, and it didn't. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Andrew, is there anything else on the screen? Oh, no. It's forever. All right. Cool. All right, I can just start my shit then. <laughs> Pizza. Yeah, that was a double goddamn stiff. Really? Yeah. Double boner. Shit. That was a double reverse hockey job. Like, dude, at least if they gave me the tip, I would have gotten some pleasure out of it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Give you the tip of what is my question. Ooh. Key riced. First knuckle. The first knuckle. <laughs> It's fine at the first knuckle. All right, I'm back. All right. I just got my headphones in. I mean, if I got to make a second pick, I take a different route. But the grip of my decision is pretty Mickey Mouse. Uh, what the fuck? Andrew's music sucks, dude. <laughs> uh, I am talking on the goddamn phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I turned it down. I love you, bro. Give me a hug. I love you. I have turned it down. Sorry, your music sucks. I just, yeah, yeah this is, um, this is best of me. Wait a second. Were you wanting to do the front? No, Where I was just. You said something about. I mean, I'm kind of tired of doing the back, but I mean, <clears throat> tomorrow, if. Okay, let's switch off. I don't want to do anal anymore. I don't want to do it from the back. Let me just do the front, and we'll switch off after that week. Okay. Missionary. Okay. Because I'll be working six days next week, so. All right. Yeah, man. Don't you usually oh, work you six days? All right. Yeah, you do. You seem like you didn't want to mess with the back. I mean, I can, I can fuck I with the back. I know that noise. That's not my issue, but I'm just, I'm just tired of fucking doing dishes every night of clothes. I understand that. But like I said, after the night, tomorrow we'll do it, and I'll complete the week, and then um, after next week, we'll do a reverse. This so is, uh... Okay, okay, I'm back. Yes, we uh, heard you. Yeah, we could heard, we heard the, we heard Andrew's shitty taste in music. Oh yeah, he has shitty taste in music. I'm a metal guy. So I don't, I don't know what he's listening to. Some, some bullshit. I am too. I, am too. Yeah. I was, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the video that Brad did of the Doritos roulette. Oh fuck, that's not even near as bad as the one chip challenge though. Like I would eat a Doritos roulette. No, I've had the Doritos roulette. That's not a fucking issue. <coughs> Jesus Christ, my mouth is still on fire. <laughs> it's never going to be back the same way it was. Like I said, dude, go get yourself a glass of milk. Or some bread and anything, you know. I'm too lazy to get up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the American way. Whatever yeah, you do, Dane's don't... just going to sit there and fucking deal with it. Whatever you do, don't drink water. It just makes it worse. Yeah, no. Sure does. Ugh. Fucking close the shit. Fun. Whenever I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, I always get the Asian Zing sauce. <laughs> well, you don't notice that's just some guy named Zing jizzing into your sauce. Well, it tastes good. Imagine that. <laughs> it tastes you good. Can... Hey, Zing. <laughs> Come over here, please. Oh. We need oh, some of your sauce. Of course, Mr. Carter. Just bust right in my fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hey, hold on, y'all. <laughs> do you have to do the racist voice when you do it? Yeah. <laughs> I heard in every you came. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll bring me Margaret Cho. Uh, hey, I'm not judging his taste. Uh, That's what Zing wants. That's what Zing gets. As long as I get my sauce. 
but Zing won't get none because she don't want none. That's or true. Fucking, if he really wants to be wacky, oh, give me Ken Jong's food. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hell, the only place I get wings is in Memphis Place, so. Hey, they do good wings. You know what the funny thing is? Uh, Alton Brown said, don't go to Buffalo to get Buffalo wings. Don't go to Buffalo. Just don't. Just, yeah, just don't go to Buffalo. Just don't go to Buffalo. <laughs> I mean, that's where Snyder's from. <laughs> yes. Please. Yes. Don't bother me. I'm in the bathtub. <laughs> I developed his... I don't know why. I mean, that's not how he You developed sounds, his mannerisms? But... Oh, great. Bill's going to be naked in the tub on his next Skype call. No, what I'm saying is that's not how he exactly sounds, but he's got it kind of that weird... He has a speech impediment of some no, sort. No, well, no, yeah, no, we we have exaggerated his voice a little bit. Yes, he does it sounds a little like this. It actually sounds a little, a little bit. bit more like this. I'm I'm Adam Schneider, everybody. He doesn't do but the like exaggerated. Uh... Yeah, but we, but we, we make him sound like he's like just. This. We make him sound like he's just constantly ejaculating. You know, I oh, I've, I've, told this, I've told this story before, but I. The greatest moment it had to be when Mark just fucking flipped out on Snyder. Oh, the cards are one, or the one where uh, I just was fed up with his behavior and I just I, there was, ripped into him. We were playing, I, I think it was a ZX Spectrum game, and he was telling some really. No, no, he wasn't on the ones for the ZX Spectrum. That was Billy doing the voice, oh, and you were well, feeding him lines. Okay, so we, well, we were playing some old school game, and Snyder happened to be on the phone. And he wouldn't shut up. And he was just telling this really convoluted, boring, stupid story. And Mark was just, like, getting more and more fed up, and then all of a sudden Mark just goes, Oh my god! Nobody cares, Snyder! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> That, I, that's how you shut or shut a motherfucker down. That, I All really, right. I desperately wanted Mark to just be like, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> I did it politely, though. Why are we stuck on the glue? glue Why do you need to? Uh, because this is a musical level. I just wanted to wait for a break in the action so I could mute my mic to do the musical level. I guess and I'm glue a... glue is uh, for those wondering. The song is do 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 do. It was from the Vonage commercials. I don't remember the actual uh, yes. name of the song. It might be Glue Glue, for all I know. It's from the one, two, three, four, fives. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, the the one, two, three, four, five, sixes. That's what they're called. I, uh, That's what they're called. I still think one of my favorite moments of that is when he wouldn't shut up, and I was the card czar, and I yelled, "I'm the I'm the goddamn card czar at him." You shut your gulp, you tit. Uh. See, if we had a sigh, that would be the right time to... So, I mean, you guys are not associated with uh, Geek Juice at all anymore? No. Nope. No, we are our own entity now. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm part of uh, the three of us for this stream that we're on. All three of us are actually executive producers. Mm-hmm. And then I'm on a show that started on uh, Geek Juice, but left with Mike called Dartboard, which looks at movies. I don't think I ever saw that. That may have been when I left. I don't know. And I still do my show, and I also I do live streams of video games now, also. Well, hell, when do you do Mental Cast? Uh, we ended it last year. Yeah, we don't do it no more. Oh, okay. You hit it. Yeah, I'm ready, man. Go ahead and get my cash. But, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know. All I'm doing is working on the TV show for potential uh, somebody to pick it up. And if not, I'm going to go through Patreon and do something, man. I don't. I Patreon gotta... can work if you, uh, net, if you, uh, find the right audience if you go on youtube and you don't monetize your videos and you do patreon it'll work okay just don't monetize yeah 
Okay. That's perfect. true. There is a lot of people that are doing that. They get the hits and then they get all the money from Patreon. I mean, I'm cool with that. I don't really give a shit. Honestly, like, I just want to do something, do something. I, I hope we shit. don't get flagged here from the music. Barely hear it. Oh, I it, know. I just. It, we're not monetizing. I'll this walk out of the office. I'll walk out of the office till he's ready. Yeah, but, it's. Um, Andrew, you ready? You ready? Okay. Hey, guys, hold on a second. I'm going to put you in my pocket so you don't hear it. We're going in a pocket. And then we hear... <laughs> that would just be from you, Bill. We still hear it. Yes, let's hope we don't get flagged. I don't know. Yeah, it's we'll it's very muffled. Yeah, but those of the YouTube bots yeah. are vicious sons of bitches. It's okay, Dane. We completely understand that the ghost pepper is uh, screwing you over. No, 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 no. So how are you doing? How far through this game are you? Uh, that is a good question. Let me see what we got. Uh, One... Two more? Wow! We're that far, huh? Alright. Thought we were a lot closer than that. Or a lot further away than that. Yeah, we literally only have like two more worlds. Damn, son. Well, I'm, gonna I'm gonna spend the rest of our time just scratching this shit. We have like nine minutes, so that's completely fair. Yeah. more lums. Yep. Yep. Yay! Yeah, still, we're, we're here. still here. Yeah, we're still here. Okay, sorry. I was fucking with Skype. I was trying to mute it when I was in the office so you guys didn't get in trouble. We'll start this world, yeah. but we're going to be uh, we're going to be wrapping up pretty soon, so I'm going to probably get this level done and we're done after this. All right, no problem. It's the nice thing about living on the West Coast. It's only coming up at 9.30 here, so I can go and do some stuff for a couple of hours before I go to, go to bed. Hell, after this, I'm about to go to the bars. Have some fun. There you go. Maybe you'll see Jerry Laurel again. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to see him again because I try. I just blew him up. I'm sure he probably uh, wouldn't remember. I bet he appreciated me. Because I'm not sitting there sucking his fucking dick. He'll probably be like, hey. You go, yeah, and he kicks you, puts you between his legs, and pile drives you into the ground. Why is this guy trying to suck my wiener? He's not a 19-year-old woman. <laughs> a little younger. Oh. No, Alleg no, no. Allegedly. 18. Allegedly. Yeah, that all means bullshit. Jerry Lowell is a lot of things, but he was no pedophile. Right. Well, I, I was saying 18. I said a little younger. Well, Kat was like in her early 20s, right? When they met. She is 26, 27. Yeah. Well, late 20s. Close enough.
Let's just say she was she was she was she was young enough to be his daughter. I like the outfit that you have on. It's very uh, Greek. That, are, are you talking about the character I'm playing as? Yes. Yeah, because it's not Greek at all. It's actually uh, it was the mariachi outfit. The oh, it looks thing from Greek. No, well, I mean the. <coughs> Damn. I just assumed it was Greek because of the Hermes wings on the helmet. No. Hermes had wings on his shoes, Mark. He had them on his helmet as well. Uh, yeah, he did. As did Mercury, which is the same thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, this Somebody's level looks very Greek inspired. Yes. Washing dishes. I think the whole. I think that's the idea of the whole world. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm washing dishes. So. I mean, it was either dishes or you're taking a dump. <laughs> like one of the two. Uh, wouldn't surprise me with the two. It wouldn't... That would be that would be a very very violent sounding dump. Yeah. It's poop and plastic. <laughs> well, you know. But hey, guys, I'm probably about to put some music on and. Uh, finish this up and then go to the bar across the road. So, alrighty, man. All right, just let me know if you need me, Mike. Hey, no problem. I got you on Skype now, so we're good. We should be good to go on that. All right, perfect, man. Just uh, let me know, like at least a day in advance or something, or at least six hours, something like that. Uh, the game streams we should do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, usually. All right, no problem, man. Like I said, just give me a notice before you record, and I'll see if I can hop on or not. All right, cool. Thanks, man. All right, man. No problem. I'll talk to you guys later. Talk to you later, Angela. Good night. All right, later. Good night. Do, 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 do. Hey, don't post the face. That one was... Uh... That one was fake. What? The. You know what? Defy Billy. Post the face anyway. I mean, it's your stream. You can do what you want. That's right. That somebody realizes. Yeah, Angela's asking if we, while you were muted, to play that mark, the music part. Uh, and I was like, yeah, all three of us are executive producers of the gaming stream here. And then we do a bunch of other stuff. Whoops. Too early. Too early, Murph. I can't believe I avoided the first one. Well, I, I'm going to finally get my get a thing of bread so I will talk to you guys later yeah I'm actually gonna get out of this level and we're gonna stop for the evening okay. have a good night Dane alright uh, that's gonna do it for tonight's show it was a lot of fun had an unexpected guest, but that was pretty cool. So, uh, let's see here. Tomorrow night, uh, no stream, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow night, no stream, because Friday, and we don't normally do them on Fridays. 
Saturday, we got Beyond Two Souls. So Saturday night, Beyond Two Souls, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. That's when we're going to be doing that. Uh, for future events and updates, facebook.com slash Live, And, of course, uh, past episodes on mentalstudios.net. And, of course, find the cast of tonight's show on Twitter. I'm Mental CEO. Dana is Dana, 5611. Bill's Bill Carter, 17. Mark is Mark T. Gledhill. Uh, Ashley's Blondio. And Angela Voorhees is at Angela Voorhees. Simple enough. Thanks for joining us for this edition of MVG Live. See you next time. Good night. Good night, everybody.